Okay, we are live on a lot of people's profile. We're live on my personal profile. We're live on Delilah's profile. We're live in our healthy living group. Um, and we are live on about 300 Facebook profiles right now. So I'm going to quickly introduce myself. For those who don't know me, my name is Melissa Collins, and I am a leader here at Life Activated Brands. And I am joined today uh, with my friend and fellow leader, Delilah Lodick, uh, who is a naturopathic doctor and into all things healthy and green and crunchy and good for you, and also roller skating. I found out yesterday. So she's like Farrah Fawcett meets who's like super crunchy. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, I, I saw her on video and she appears to be a professional roller skater. So you should add that to your list of accolades. <laughs> Um, I'm super jealous because I now want to go roller skating, but oh thanks for being here, Delilah. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So we're going to talk about Morvita, which is our brand name, but really what Morvita is, is Moringa. And before we start this, I have to give a stern warning to everybody who's going to come on and share. We are going, and everybody in the comments, please listen to me now. We are going to be compliant. See, the biggest problem with Morvita is... It does things that make you feel better. And then we have issues with people saying things that are not compliant. Well, what does compliant mean? Well, the FTC and the FDA say that we're not allowed to claim that products treat or cure any diseases. And we are not claiming that Morvita or Moringa cures or treats any disease. But let me ask you this in the comments. Moringa is absolutely the most nutrient dense plant ever discovered. So people often come to me and they say, Melissa, if I have diabetes, should I take Morvita? And I say, well, Moringa is the most nutrient dense plant ever discovered. Whether you have diabetes or you don't have diabetes, does it sound like something you should consume? That's my answer. And that is really the only answer I can give you. Um, and, and whatever personal experience you have, here's what I would tell you. Use Morvita for 90 days and decide for yourself, okay? So um, I also want to, we get one question all the time when people look at our ingredients, because it says we have like seven times the calcium is milk and I don't know, six times the potassium is bananas or something. And people want to know, they want to look at a label and know how many grams of whatever is in this. Well, Moringa is a plant. And so for the same reason that you don't have a label on a banana when you go to the grocery store and know exactly how much potassium is in that specific banana is why you don't have that on our ingredient list. Because Moringa is a plant, there's no chemicals in this. Um, and so unless we were to test each individual plant for the level of protein and, and calcium and potassium, we wouldn't be able to put that on a label. So just to be really clear about that. Um, I want to start to by having Delilah explain the other question people ask a lot is about our sourcing and is it safe and are our raw ingredients safe? So I'm going to ask Delilah to explain what an NSF facility means, because that was important to her when making a decision to come here. All of our products are produced in an NSF facility. So Delilah, what does that mean? So she's a really good roller skater, but she's a really bad unmuter. It's not one of her skills. Like she's, <laughs> she, <laughs> I can actually say whatever I want now because she has muted herself. And um, so that's how that's going to go. I think if you tap the screen, you can tap the little unmute button. Um, and while we're waiting in the comments, guys, if you've used Morvita, let's start with this. What do you think Morvita tastes like? Because a lot of people seen the green color and they're like, I don't know about that. So were you surprised by the flavor of Morvita when you first tried it? Delilah, I think I might be able to do it for you. Hold on. Let's see. Did I do it? Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm going to kick you out. Come back in. Bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab my friend Ashley South. So while we're waiting for Delilah, 
Oh, Ashley, surprise. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to grab my good friend, Ashley South, so she can tell you um, her experience with Morvita. Now, I know you have a unique experience because you used Morvita. Then we ran out, you ran out of it. And then you tried to cheat on us with other Moringa. I did. You cheated. I did. Oh, no. I'm just going to be honest about it. Yeah, I was desperate. So I actually had to try Morvita before... Um, before I fully believed in lab products. Cause I was like, yeah, yeah, everybody's talking about this, but I wasn't a believer. And I'm the kind of person that has to try something to see how good it is. And I started consuming it for about 30 days and started to see some real changes in my life. And you're going to hear about that from everybody else. And like just my cycle changes, my, my period, my hair, my skin, everything. And so we had a back order. This stuff goes viral. Everybody wants it. Now I see why. And I was out for about three weeks. And after the first couple of days, I started to feel like garbage. Like I was like, is this what I felt like? And it was like, I just didn't realize how much of a slump, how little energy I was functioning on, how much my body needed those nutrients. And so when I started to be out of Morvita, I started to get desperate. Like I was like messaging other people to see if they had extra packets I could buy from them because you feel so amazing. I always tell people, I'm like, run out. Take it for a month or two and run out and see how you feel. See if you want to live without this, this nutrient dense plant in your life. So I actually hunted the internet. I was scouring the internet for anything I could find that was shade dried, which I know that ours is, and that affects the nutrient, the, the denseness of nutrients in ours. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I consider myself a professional online shopper. Could not find any that hadn't been heat processed. I was desperate. I bought it anyways. And then I went and found some loose leaves tea type stuff that was shade dried and it was terrible like a taste i couldn't even stomach it the smell was disgusting i actually sent it back after trying it once and then the pills i ordered were had been heat dried so i was taking like way more than the recommended amount just to get nutrients i was taking like two or three a day and i didn't feel like it did not make it didn't help me it didn't make me feel better and as soon as i got our morvina back um within a few days i started to get my energy levels back up i started to feel like myself again um and so it really made me a believer in how different our product is versus like something you find on Amazon. Yeah, it really matters. Um, sourcing matters and the way that you produce it matters. So people will say, oh, I can get this for this here. You will say, here's the thing. Like I don't buy my health and wellness products at Walmart. Um, and I, I buying them on Amazon is confusing to me. I just want whatever's best for my body. Um, and even at full price, say it's not full price, say it's 20% off, but even at full price, Morvita is like $3 a day. It's $3 a day to consume the most nutrient dense bioavailable plant on the planet. We need that. And so the reason why there's so many buried testimonies is because, and the reason people are like, I don't really know what's happening. I just feel better is because we weren't getting, it was like, we're running around in a, in a gas engine car, filling it with diesel. It doesn't work. So thanks, Ashley. I appreciate you coming to share with us. All right, let me grab Delilah. She's back. She has I'm learned here. how to unmute. She's a professional at that now too. <laughs> I'm gonna tease you about that forever. <laughs> I went to hit, I went to turn off notifications. I hit mute and I couldn't unmute because whatever. My phone's temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she's good at a lot of things. Unmuting isn't one of them. It's fine. It's just, I can't be good at it all. That's right. So all right. So tell us, um, NSF facility. Why does that matter to you when you're looking at supplements? You know, it ma it matters. A lot of times you'll find, let me start by saying a lot of times you'll find a company that is not, that does not have an NSF certified facility, but they have one and one or two NSF certified products. It's not the same thing. Um, NSF certification is one of the most difficult certifications to get right up there with maybe even harder than organic and non-GMO. I would, I, I, some people might even say that. Um, it's because of the process that you have to go through to get that certification. A lot of times athletes can't even drink a protein shake unless it has the stamp of NSF certified on it. So a supplement getting that is difficult enough, but to go ahead and take it to the next level and get an entire facility that is NSF certified, it is the absolute highest level of checks and balances that you could find. And it's pretty rare. Uh, you don't really find a lot of supplement companies that can say they are NSF certified. By having a facility with that certification, it's basically providing you with insurance that any of the products that they produce um, is going to be reviewed by some of the highest standards and guidelines in the industry. 
and they have to pass so many very rigorous testing, um, quality and purity of ingredients, safety standards. It really is the best of the best. And it's very difficult to come by. I was very impressed when I found that out. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I fully understood the power of NSF facility until I toured our facility and walked through it and was like, this is, it is so obviously different than any other kind of manufacturing facility, the way that they do things. And we get um, inspected every six months. And um, as someone, so I know this is different, but I ran daycares for years. I owned a, um, a, a chain of 15 childcare centers. And so I've been through inspection processes. And when you're really good in any inspection process, they come in and they're like, mm, there was fingerprints on the front door. You need to wash those off. And like, so if you go look at our reports in the NSF facility, which you'll see when you go down there, you can tell the inspector is like looking because they have to do something. They have to say, fix this or fix something. The things that they, it's it's impressive what our reports look like too. So um, it is it is an impressive facility. So I know you told me that you've used Moringa in your practice for a lot of years. So why do you choose Moringa as like, what is it that you recommend it for? I could go on all day about this. I have used it for, for a long time. I mean, one, my, one of my major concentrations in school was herbology. So herbs, adaptogen herbs, specifically medicinal mushrooms, that's my thing. Um, and it's the first line that I incorporate when working with clients. Now, Moringa specifically, it's just a powerhouse. It is an adaptogenic herb. If you don't know what that means, the short of it is that it goes into your body and adapts to your needs specifically. It's the only thing we have that does that. Uh, you know, it's not universal where you give it to one person, you give it to everybody and it's going to have, say, anti-inflammatory effects because some people don't have inflammation, but the adaptogens in general, that's what they do. Now, Moringa, it's been used in Ayurvedic and um, Chinese medicine. It's been used around the world for centuries. It's referred to in other countries at, in different cultures as the tree of life. If you look at websites like um, the National Institute of Health, some of our medical websites, they actually refer to it as a phytomedicine. And what that means is that it's a multi-purpose herb. Um, in our case, it's actually a tree, not a plant, but it refers to herbs that are plants or trees used around the world as alternatives to medication. So one of the things I really like about Moringa is that it has both nutritional and medicinal purposes. And you don't really find that with a lot of herbs. It's usually... Oftentimes it's one or the other. So for example, the leaves of the Moringa plant contain about 25% protein. Unheard of, it's very uncommon for a plant to have that much protein. So we have a non-lactose source of protein, but that's an example of where it has nutritional value. But medicinally, and, and this is just, you can research these facts, but you know, cause I know we have to be compliant, but medicinally, Moringa is used to um, in natural practices to help patients lower blood sugar. So that's where it's a medicinal value. So Moringa really is the best of both. Uh, it's definitely a, um, it's a powerhouse of nutrients. There's a reason why they say it's the most nutrient dense plant on the planet because it has so much. Most, most vitamin, most foods, for example, or supplements are known for one specific ingredient that they provide. So for example, we know that citrus fruits provide a good source of vitamin C, right? Things like that. We know, um, um, I don't know, that uh, nuts provide a good source of vitamin E or carrots, a good source of vitamin A. But when you look at Moringa, it will blow your mind if you were actually to break down all of the nutrient content. It's got over 92 nutrients. It's got 10, um, 10 different vitamins, nine essential amino acids. It's got 46 antioxidants. I believe it's like 70 or 71 antimicrobial or anti like biocidal, which is like, um, you know, anti antibacterial, antiviral, all that stuff. 71 of those. And you just don't see a profile like that in any other nutrients. I mean, in yeah. any other supplements. Yeah. I mean, I was blown away when I first started learning about it and it just, it's just so painfully obvious to me. So people are always like, well, why should I use Marvita? And I'm like, I mean, it's just so, it just seems so obvious to me. After you just heard what Delilah just said, if you can't understand why every human and some lucky dogs and horses should be consuming this, I don't know how you put your pants on in the morning. All right, I'm gonna grab my friend, Nikki Spear. Hi, Nikki. Hey. Ah, surprise. 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 Um, would you like to tell us about your Morvita experience? Um, sure, absolutely. So, um, 
sorry, I was tagging people. Um, so basically I started taking this in September. I took it post-op um, surgery. So it helps so well with my healing process, process and my inflammation. Um, I had a total hysterectomy and it actually helped me quite a bit with regulating, you know, all those fun hormones, um, hot flashes, all those kinds of things. Um, but the biggest thing that I've noticed, and I posted on my Instagram story, is my skin and my inflammation in my face has gone down so much. It's wild. And it's like I'm looking at pictures of when I weighed way less, but my face was way more inflamed. It was it was actually really gross looking at all the pictures on there yesterday. Um I drink it every morning. It gives me energy. Um, like I said, I just, I would probably lose my crap if I went out, <laughs> went without this. <laughs> I always have an extra bag in stock. That's amazing. Well, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate you coming and sharing with us. Um, Delilah, I have a question for you. And this is, I did not tell you I was going to ask you this, but I just oh. enjoy torturing you. So when I first started drinking Morbida, one of the things that I noticed really fast, like within a week, is other foods that I was used to eating and enjoying that you would probably not think are great um, because I'm healthy-ish, okay? <laughs> I'm healthy-ish. I still really <laughs> like nachos. But anyway, um, when I would eat like Doritos or specifically for me, it was this black cherry ice cream. I was in North, North Carolina at Topsail Island. I'll never forget this moment. And I went to go get my favorite black cherry ice cream. And it was like nine o'clock at night. And I called the CEO of our company, losing my mind that he did something to me. It <laughs> tasted different. Like I could taste, literally taste chemicals. So if I would drink a drink with, with fake sugars in it, I could taste the chemicals. So why is there a reason that it definitely, definitely was morbid? It was the only thing that was different. Yeah. Why'd that happen? My best analysis of this is that it that really comes down to inflammation. I mean, when we eat those foods, our body knows they're not real foods and it creates an inflammatory response in the body. Now, inflammation by itself is a good thing. Like it's a normal body process. Your body naturally inflames if you have an injury or when you're under um, an intense stressful event, you want that to happen because it's a way to protect the body. It sends different signals out. It rate it elevates your cortisol level. Um, it triggers fight or flight, and it just does different things to our body biologically. The problems come in when we are um, chronically inflamed, and one of the main sources of the, the two main sources of chronic inflammation are stress um, and diet. And so when you're eating these foods, you're having this inflammatory response in your digestive system, which then leads to inflammatory processes in your entire body because the digestive system sends signals back and forth to the brain. And then the brain sends out signals to the whole body. So when you are consuming a product like Morvita, um, one of the amazing benefits, and, and this is what Nikki said, the inflammation came down. It is one of the fastest things we see. It might show up like you did, Melissa, where you didn't want the foods. With her, it was like in her skin. It's because the Moringa has been shown, um, it's, it's the adaptogens specific to Moringa. Now, adaptogens are in a lot of different herbs and plants, and they're amazing, but each one does a different job. And the ones that are in Moringa specifically target um, inflam it, they suppress inflammatory enzymes. So it instantly, by suppressing those enzymes, it instantly brings down that inflammation and that uh, reduces those cravings. Cause you know, it's cyclical. Like you eat the foods, you get inflammation, you crave the foods, then you eat more mm -hmm. foods, more inflammation. And so when it's like a hard stop, on those enzymes and it suppresses them. And so inflammation can't just take over. And so now when you're not inflamed, you're like, eh, I don't, I don't really want those foods anymore. And so it, it all kind of comes back to that inflammatory response. I feel like you, people tell me all the time that they lose weight on Morbida. It's not a weight loss. Just be really clear. It is 100% not a weight loss system supplement or anything like that. But I think the reason people lose weight is because people constantly telling me I stopped drinking soda. I stopped eating chips. I stopped needing to snack. I felt full and satiated. So, I mean, it's pretty, to me, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Like if you stop snacking on things you shouldn't have been snacking on anyway. You stop drinking soda. You probably are going to lose weight. You know, that's, that is a, that is a huge part of it. Um, and I really love the Morvita. I, I love it. And I take it to complement the other, the, the gut health, the livology pack. And, and the reason why is it does have um, a weight loss 
weight loss benefits. One for what you just said, and two, it's 30% fiber. So, I mean, that big, and you know, that, that's big because most people are not getting enough fiber in their diet. So it's gonna help support fibers, great for the gut and for digestion. Uh, Moringa leaves also inhibit growth of um, pathogens in the gut. So it ties right in with what we're doing with our other systems. So to, I always tell my people, listen, when you get started with this, make sure you add the Morita as well, because it really complements that as well as all the other things. And yes, it will help you if you have weight to lose for sure. All right, I'm going to grab somebody here in our backstage area. I'm going to grab who's back here. Well, I see people, but you guys, Sarah and Amy, if you want to talk, you got to turn your video on and unmute yourself. I'm going to grab <laughs> Megan Van Amberg. Hi, Megan. Hi, can you guys hear me okay? I just got a new phone yesterday and uh, I didn't realize you have to get like a new. Did you get an iPhone? <laughs> I, I can't join your cult. I can't. I almost did. I almost did. <laughs> I kicked her out. No, I'll let her wreck in. <laughs> no Kool Aid. No Kool Aid. Oh, no, I came no. close. I, I came close. You. Oh. Um, so, so, yeah, you guys are going to have to bear with me. We're yard sailing. I'm actually drinking mine as we speak. Um, right. I thought it was really interesting hearing Delilah's explanation of why it does so many different things for different people, because that's personally our family experience. For me, it makes me not eat the entire pantry, especially at night when it's like seven o'clock and I'm suddenly thinking about cookies and chips. Um, I find myself not thinking about cookies and chips anymore. So that's always fun. Um, my husband kind of acts like he's 20 um, now, which is great for him, sort of uh, annoying for me. I have to have snaps more now. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway and one of the reasons why I personally love this product is because of the twins. Um, my twins were born at 30 weeks and we've really struggled with weight gain. Um, and now that they're toddlers, they're fully into that really super picky. I'm definitely not eating anything. And so we were knocking on failure to thrive's door um, a few months ago. And it was a really, really hard, hard thing for me as a mom to sort of go through that because you just want your kids to grow and be okay. And once I started giving them more Vita, and I know we have to be careful about like, I don't know if that falls under medical claims, but for us, I just know the only thing that has changed is the fact that they're drinking more Vita every single day and they are continuously going and gaining and they're just constantly on an upward trend and their eating patterns haven't changed. I just, it's the only thing that's changed. And so when people ask me, I'm just like, it's making my babies grow. I can't explain it. I don't get it, but they're gaining with it. So I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm really happy to hear that. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that they don't love you, but they do love my wife. I saw that on a story a couple of days ago. Yeah. One of them said, you said, do you love me? And she said, no. And you said, do you love Auntie Stacy? And they said, yes. Is that a real thing that happened? Oh, that's definitely a real oh, thing that happened. Um, it, was it, it was Ava. It was Ava. Ava says that she doesn't love love me, but she loves Auntie Stacy, and she's trying to get Auntie Stacy to come visit and you to come visit. So. Okay. Well, we're coming soon. We're coming soon. All right. Thank you. Talk to you Bye. soon. Bye. All right. So let's talk about kids and pregnant mamas and breastfeeding, because it, this is a question I get all the time. Obviously, when a woman is pregnant. And when we talk about children, everything gets a little like, mm, make sure. And legally, we're like, you know, anyone asks me, I'm like, check with your doctor, check with your doctor, check with your doctor. I can tell you that lot. I've had lots of pregnant mamas and breastfeeding mamas come to me and say, yeah, is it safe? And I always 100% say, check with your doctor because I'm not a doctor and I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be in charge of someone's pregnancy. And 100% of them, the doctors have said, yes, Moringa is totally fine. Go ahead and take it. Um, but it's pretty amazing what it can do for, um, for, uh, breast milk, um, production. And so I know you have a really incredible story if you, if you're willing to share that, um, sure. but, or you can just tell us about, I know that they call it mother's milk in Af Africa yeah. because the women chew on the leaves. To make yeah. Them. Well, you know, and just to touch on, I, I didn't catch her name, but what she was just saying, M Moringa is used in, um, different parts of the world as because it's so nutrient dense as a um you know as a tonic to help children thrive children who are not thriving so when she said that, i wasn't surprised at all because that is medicinally what it's used for in other areas um 
I get those questions all the time too about pregnant and nursing women. Now I run a women's wellness center. So I do have a lot of mamas who are either pregnant, trying to get pregnant nursing. And yes. So of course we always say, speak with your physician before you add anything, you know, if you're nursing or whatever, because we can't give that type of medical advice, but I will tell you many, 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 many herbalists and natural practitioners will say, absolutely go ahead and get started on this product. Um, one of the reasons, and I will tell my story, but I, I want to just make sure I get this point in before I forget it. One of the reasons I personally use it for my clients who are um, especially postpartum um, or during pregnancy or, you know, while nursing as well, is the, the iron. It's like 32.2% iron mm -hmm. in the leaves. Most pregnant women, or at least after the delivery, are suffering from low iron levels. So those types of nutrients, we already know that it can help with blood sugar. It's also going to help with hemoglobin and stuff like that. So that is why it's my first go-to for women who um, have just given birth or a lot of times during the pregnancy. Now, like you said, mother's milk for nursing. I'll tell you my story. Um, my first five children were biological and I never had any issues with producing breast milk. I actually was like a super producer. And so um, my sixth child was adopted and I was adamant that I would breastfeed him. And I know that you can um, produce milk, even if you have not birthed a child. A lot of people don't know that and they're always surprised to hear it. But the first thing I did when I knew that I wanted to start lactating was I immediately started taking Moringa um, in double doses. By the way, when I say double doses, it is, it, as far as testing goes, it is like so hard to get to that threshold of too much. You can always have too much of any supplement vitamin A or whatever can be dangerous. But with Moringa, you wouldn't even come near the amount that you would need by just taking like one or two packets of Morita, not even close. But I doubled up on my Moringa um, and I was able, I, by the time the baby came home, I would, I, you know, started to latch and instantly I started making milk. It took like a day. And so, That's yes, I, yeah. And I, and I've talked about it. Like I've always credited it to Moringa um, and just our body's amazing with what it can do. It really is. So I've told that story before too. And people are like, wait a minute, am I going to start to lactate? So let's just be no. really clear. <laughs> you will not, that is not how it works. You're going to need, no. if you want to start to lactate, there's a couple other steps and you're going to need a baby. Yes. You will so, need a baby <laughs> who is trying to nurse in order for that to happen. So yeah. don't worry there. <laughs> yeah. You're not just, there will be no, there will be right. no lactating no. <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I don't want anyone to get confused about that. It's like yeah. the thing when people are like, oh, I lost four pounds when I started taking more Vita. And then someone's like, oh, I don't want to lose weight. I'm like, it's not a weight loss thing. It's a side effect that that person is having from this yeah. particular supplement, adaptogen or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Stephanie, no spontaneous lactating. I've been taking more Vita for almost a year and I have no problems <laughs> with that. So let me grab my friend, Amy Nesbitt. Let me find her here. Hi, Amy. Oh. How are you? I'm good. Sorry. It's like 7 a.m. my time. I'm trying not to wake up the kids. So, oh, well, thanks for being here. Do you want to tell us your, your Moringa testimony? Yeah. So I thought it was just really important to be here because I love this stuff. I started taking it in January and I'm going to talk really quick about three things. So the first thing is I identify with the healthy-ish. <laughs> like I think I'm a pretty healthy person in general. Um, like I add chia, flax, everything to all my baking. And when I heard about Moringa, I was like, okay, I want to give this a try, see if it actually is as good as it sounds. And so I started trying it. And I'm also a finance person by trade. So I went, okay, can it really be that much better than everything out there? And so I, I, I did my test with this other organic brand that, um, you know, had good reviews and all that kind of stuff. But I just did not finish that. So I would just sit on my desk in the morning. The more Vita was just easy. I'm a working mom. Like it just is easy. I prep it the night before it goes with me in the car for drop off. It goes with me to the office. So anyway, it's, it's great. But where I really noticed a difference was three menstrual cycles in a row. Like that's, that's what will keep me hooked forever because the flow, the cramps, I, I didn't have bad cramps to begin with, but it's noticeable. And it's not coincidence that the three times that I've been using Morvita, it's been less and it's been a lot more pleasant. And I think I've been a lot more pleasant with my family. So <laughs> I think they think it's worth it too. That's awesome. That's incredible. Well, thank you for coming and sharing your story, Amy. I appreciate you so much. 
So just a note, if you're interested in trying Morvita today, it's 20% off for customers, um, every iteration of it. So we have, you can buy one bag, you can buy three bags, or you can buy six bags. The best, most affordable option is six bags. If you buy six bags, you get one free. And that makes those bags $62 for a month of Morvita, which is absurd. It's, it's just really absurd. We already have at this quality level, we already have probably the most competitive pricing on the market for Morvita just without a sale. It's $89 or it's $80 if you buy it on SmartShip typically. But to get it for $62 a bag is crazy. So we always buy the six bag deal because I like the one bag free and we each use a bag a month because there's 30 packets in each bag. So for us, that's a three month supply. It just makes sense for us. Um, but today, however you buy it, whether you try one bag, three bags, or six bags, it's 20% off. And with as with every other one of our products, we give a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you get it in and you try it out and you don't like it for whatever reason, you just email customer service. They'll send you a shipping notice or something, and a shipping label, and you send it back and you get 100% of your money back. So there's, we're, we're very confident. I should, I got to tell you something. Delilah doesn't know this. This is going to shock her. Listen, this is really important. If you want to know if our products work, we can go through all the sciencey stuff. We can go all through all the stuff. I'm not a sciencey person. I'm a business metrics person. I am a key performance indicator person. Uh, in traditional online sales, return rates are around 20, like Amazon, are around 28%. That's normal. Everybody's happy there. In network marketing and MLM, traditional, where everyone's happy, Return rates are around 30%. Those are real facts. You can look them up. Our return rate over the last, we, I, I just looked at the last two months, 2%. 2%. Like that basically means that nobody returns our stuff and it's not difficult to return. And we do accept returns up to 30 days. Actually, it's up to 90 days. It's like 30 days, you get all of it. 60 days, you have to pay the shipping. 90 days, there's some other rule. But I mean, we have a really robust return policy. It is very simple to return stuff. 2%. That's that number. Does that number shock you, Delilah? It doesn't. Because when you were talking about the return, the first thing I thought of is nobody's returning the Morvita. It's never going to. I just can't see like why it is one of the it's one of those products where one packet is all it takes for you to feel a difference and that i mean and i say that confidently so no that doesn't surprise me yeah i mean it it's a big deal i mean and and listen as we grow do i believe that that number might go up maybe i don't really know but it hasn't yet we've doubled our company over the over the first quarter of 2022 we have doubled the size of the company twice and the return rate hasn't really changed. So that's why you see products going in and out, by the way. <laughs> um, but we think we have solved that problem. So we're going to be fine. Um, Delilah, is there anything else you want to add about Morvita or anything people need to know about Morvita? I no? don't think so. No, I, yeah, think I, mean, I, think, I feel like you got it. I'm going to grab I Emily Query so she can give us her testimony because I know she's got something to say. Hi, Emily. Hi. Nice hey. So, um, I started drinking Morvita in the end of September, and that was the only product I started on. And I was an avid um, Diet Coke drinker. Like, I don't drink coffee, energy drinks. Diet Coke was my go-to, two to three bottles a day. And it started, like, just not tasting good anymore. I couldn't even finish a bottle. And now I haven't drank it since the second week of October. I haven't had any pop. Mm -hmm. And my first week, um, kind of like what you said, I actually lost five pounds drinking Morvita um, just from all the bloat and inflammation that I had. Um, so yeah, Morvita has really just been a game changer for me. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming and sharing. Thank I'm you. so glad you're off the pop. I don't call it pop because I'm from the East Coast. <laughs> yeah. You're obviously from the Midwest because you said pop. I so now good. we all know where you live. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bye, Emily. All right, I'm going to grab one more person, my good friend and fellow leader, CJ Summers. Oh. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love pushing the button before they're ready. Like, she's like, <laughs> like I'm going to push the button. So she's like, I was listening. Here's the thing. I'm actually a mean person. So she really I'm is. Sorry. She's like the kid with the magnifying glass and the sun. And she's like, oh, that person's not paying attention. That's why I'll pick on her. <laughs> 
Excuse me. <laughs> Love right. it. Hi. All right, CJ. So tell us more Vita. Like, I know you're not a super, you're like more like me. You're like healthy ish. Mm -hmm. I've seen you eat chicken wings. Like, I've been in person with you, watched <laughs> you eat the fried things. I've been there. And um, you're not super sciencey, but what did you experience when you started Morbida? Okay. So first of all, because I'm all those things that Melissa just said, that's why I was so excited about this product because, um, you can ask my dear friend, um, Sarah Marie, I am the lazy fitness girl, the lazy, healthy girl. Um, I will do it if it's easy. I'm just going to be straight honest with you. I, I'm not doing it. If it's 25 steps, I'm not doing it. I, I love Delilah. I love Lauren Granado. I'm not doing all that stuff. Morvita is literally drink. So I, what you need to know about me is I, a Dr. Pepper, a holic, just like, um, was it Emily who was just, just said she was a doc, diet coca holic and you can ask any, I mean, I almost tattooed it on my skin. That's how much I love Dr. Pepper. And now I've probably since starting Morvita in October, I think I've probably had four, maybe five total Dr. Peppers. You guys, I used to drink like four a day. And I'm not even joking you. So again, that byproduct of weight loss. But the part I want to tell you guys is, yes, it's easy. So lazy people, bring it in. This could be the one thing you change and it's just going to help you feel healthier and be better. So if that doesn't sell you, then maybe you need to just hop off this life. But this is the other thing. The first time I drank it, now remember, I was drinking four Dr. Peppers a day, okay? The first time I drank it, I was like, oh. This is okay. But like everybody had said how bad Moringa tasted. So I was like, all right, I'll suck it up. I'll do it. And so me and my friend were taking it. We both took it and we're both like, oh, okay, this is okay. I mean, it's sweet enough. And I, you guys, I don't like tea. I'm from the South and I don't like tea. So anyway, second day we're drinking it. And he says to me, did you put sugar in it this time? N no, I, I didn't. It tasted better the second time. And then the third time it tasted better. So it, it was your body, like Delilah was talking about that adaptogen piece, it, your body figures it out. And my other friend, Beth Zasky, who a lot of you have probably heard of before, she said this thing that just hit me so hard. 20, 30, 40 years ago, we took supplements because we wanted to. We have to take them now. We have to take them. They're required in our life right now because of the way that things are being made, the way that food is being made and, and manufactured and, and grown. We, we need them now. Like we didn't need them 50 years ago. We need them now. So I, I think for a lazy fitness, lazy, healthy person who doesn't even know how to cook, like legit, this is just a perfect addition. And, and I'd love to be able to tell you some of the things that aren't um, compliant because I have a lot. Like, I'll just put it out there to say this. My doctor, when I do my tests annually, and when I did them this time, she was blown away and said, what are you doing differently? CJ, what are you doing differently? And was blown away. And let's just say there's a few things I don't have to go to a pharmacy for anymore. So. <laughs> I'm kicking her off. All right. Thank oh you, for CJ. Appreciate you. Delilah, can we address one more thing? And then we got to get off here because we went way over right. what I wanted to do. But. Yeah. Everyone keeps talking about the taste. And so I think that's really important for people who are more concerned about being not just healthy-ish, but super healthy, how we got it to taste not like hot garbage. Because if anybody knows anything about Moringa, in its raw form, it literally tastes like sewage. It is so bad. I When we were talking about producing this product, I went to a health food store and I was like, I'm going to be... I'm going to be a good leader and I'm going to go learn about this stuff. And I made myself a Moringa tea. And then I was like, actually, I would rather die 10 years earlier than ever taste that again. It was that bad. So, so we, we did make it taste good. It absolutely tastes good. And anyone who's ever tried any Moringa tastes ours, they freak out. So how did we do that and not compromise our um, product and our, our commitment to, uh, being natural and not synthetic. Yeah. I, you know, Moringa powder is just nasty normally. And so, I mean, it tastes like what you would imagine, like, like mildew tastes like is the best way I can explain it. Mm -hmm. When I was taking, um, when I was taking it, when I was trying to produce milk and I was taking it, you know, religiously so much, I had to have it in capsule form because I couldn't, 
tolerate the taste of the powders. And we know capsule form is not going to be as effective. You want to always have it in a powder, um, whatever. This is why when you sent me, Melissa sent me the sample of the Moringa, you know, of the Morvita, and I taste it and I immediately said, I immediately said, what, <laughs> what is in this? Because it tastes good. I mean, it, it was like noticeably different. And so, you know, she let me know and, and we started doing, I started doing the research. It's just, there's natural fruit essences. So a fruit essence is just the little, it's not like, um, you know, it's not like you're getting nutritional value from the fruit, but you're getting the essence for the flavor. And so it's tropical fruits. I don't remember what the specific fruits are. I have it written down somewhere. Um, but your their flavoring is is from natural fruit essences, and you'll see that on the label as natural flavors, which for me honestly is always a red flag because I'm always like, what does that mean? Because that can mean anything. So I I reached out immediately, and then I got the verification and found out that it's fruit flavors, which is what which is what the good companies do, right? The good companies when they're yes. natural flavors will mean fruit essences. And it's all natural, but it's such a minute amount that it doesn't have to be listed. And so, and that's, you're safe there. There's other natural flavors. Here's the thing. When you see natural flavors, you know, it's bad when you see, you'll also see like um, aspartame and you'll start to see other stuff in there. So I knew, obviously I knew that it wasn't bad, but I did need to know exactly what it was because it tasted really freaking good. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Well, we got this guy, his name's Joe. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you right now, he is a um, magic scientist he is the Literally. best flavor chemist on the planet as far as i'm concerned i mean i've been in our lab and he has whipped something up for me and i'm like mm, i wish that tasted a little bit more like cotton candy and then he'll like go back in and he i don't know what he does in there and he comes back and he hands me the same thing i'm like oh that's cotton candy he's incredible and he understands how to use healthy natural things to make stuff taste like anything you tell him to taste taste like it's wild um yeah. so he's really he's really fantastic which is why the flavors of all the products we have like our candy apple is so tasty and our morbita is so tasty and our tea frankly that our detox tea look if you don't like the way tea tastes that might be an issue for you but it tastes like tea and a lot of detox teas i've tasted in the past have not tasted like tea this one to me and everybody has different taste buds but to me it tastes like the lipton tea my grandma used to make um, it just tastes like tea, like steep tea to me, which is not easy to do um, when you're using, because Senna does not taste like tea. <laughs> so it's, yep. he's, he's an incredible dude. All right, guys, I think we've given you enough information. If you want to purchase as a retail customer, the person who shared this on their profile also put their link to order in the description of their post. So go use that link, click shop now. The 20% discount will come off at checkout. So don't wait for it. Just get through the process. When you get to check out, you'll see it there. And my highest recommendation, if you're serious about this and you and your spouse or you and your kids or you and your family are going to use it, is grab the six pack, get a bag free at 20% off because $62 a bag is a crazy, crazy good deal. Delilah, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Of course. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.